morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our English service this morning. Glad you're able to join us online. Today is Holy Communion Sunday, so please get your elements ready if you have not already done so. Let us now quieten our hearts and with reverence welcome God's presence to this time of worship. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, gracious Saviour, wonderful Lord, we thank you for your loving kindness and your enduring mercies. Lord, teach us to offer you a heart of thanksgiving and praise in all our daily experiences of life. Teach us to be joyful always, to pray continually and to give thanks in all our circumstances. As we gather in our homes to worship you this morning, fill us with your spirit and presence that we may receive the joy of the Lord. Hear our prayer, O God, for we offer them in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Let us worship God in spirit and in truth and follow His ways in this hour of worship and office. The call to worship this morning is taken from Psalms 34 verses 1 to 3. I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. I will glorify in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt His name together. Let us now bring songs of praise to our Lord. We have Brother Benjamin to lead us in the praise and worship this morning. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Once again, in this Sunday morning, that we can come and worship our Lord. Now, no matter where you are, no matter how your weeks has been, let us all prepare our hearts to worship our King, to worship our Lord, because He is worthy. He is worthy of all of our praises. He is our King. He is our Lord. We come before Him and we can lay all ourselves, all of our burdens before Him and we can come and truly focus on Him and let Him give us strength. Let Him give us peace. And let us all rise our feet and worship our Lord. He is the Lamb. He is the Lion. He is our King. of the world, His blood breaks the chains, every knee will bow before the Lion and the Lamb, every knee will bow before Him. So open up the gates, make way before the King of The heart who comes to save is here to set the captives free. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Our God is the Lion, the Lion of Judah. He is roaring with power and fighting our battle. Every knee will bow before Him. Our God is the Lamb. The land that was slain for the sins of the world, his blood breaks the chain. Every knee will bow before the light and the land. Every knee will bow before him. Let's all sing. Who can stop our Lord? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? 
who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord? Our God is the Lion, the Lion of Judah. is roaring with power and fighting our battle. Every knee will bow before Him. Our God is the Lamb. The land that was slain All the sins of the world His blood breaks the chain Every knee will bow before the life and the Lamb Every knee will bow before the Yes Lord, every knee shall bow Every tongue shall praise your name Because you are worthy You reign forever you, you are the King of kings. You are the Lords of the Lord. Lord, help us to continue to worship you. His love endures forever For He is good, He is above all things His love endures forever Sing praise Sing praise With mighty hand and now stretch out His love endures forever For the light has had being reborn, His love endures forever. Sing praise, sing praise, sing praise, sing praise. Forever, God is faithful. Forever, God is strong. Forever, God is with us. Forever, forever. From rising to the setting sun, His love endures forever. By the grace of God, we will carry on. Love and use forever. Sing praise, sing praise, sing praise, sing praise. Forever God is faithful. Forever God is strong. Forever God is with us Forever, forever Forever God is faithful Forever God is strong Forever God is with us Forever, forever Let's all sing together his love endures forever. His love endures forever. His love endures forever. His love endures forever. Sing praise. Sing praise. Sing praise. Sing praise. 
faithful forever God is strong forever God is with us forever 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 you are faithful forever you are strong forever you Yes, Lord, you are the God of eternity. You are forever with us. We give thanks to praise. this morning as we come and prepare ourselves for the Holy Communion to receive once again to be reminded of your blood and your body Remind, be reminded of your salvation of your love for us of your sacrifice let's continue to worship and be reminded how have you have saved us but we want to surrender ourselves to you that we can come and approach you, come before your throne, and you welcome us. Let's sing this song. It's kind of a new song, but hopefully let's learn this song together. And together we worship all of How I stand Where even angels fear to trip Invited by redeeming love Before the throne of God and world He pulls me close with nails, God hands into His everlasting arms. When condemnation grips my heart, and Satan tempts me to despair. I hear the voice that scatters fear The great I am, the Lord is here Oh, praise the one who fights for me And shields my soul eternally Boldly I approach your throne Blameless now I'm running for By your blood I come Welcome as your own Into the arms of majesty and sun more beauty than this world has known I'm face to face with love himself his perfect spotless righteousness a thousand years a thousand 
are not enough to sing His praise. Boldly I approach Your throne, blameless now I'm running home. By Your blood I come. Welcome as your own into the arms of majesty. Boldly I approach your throne. Blameless now I'm running home. By your blood I come. Welcome as your own into the arms of majesty. This is the art of celebration Knowing we're free from condemnation Oh, praise the one Praise the one Who made an end to all my sin This is the art Pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, be it on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us reaffirm our faith by proclaiming the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day He rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us continue our worship by the reading of the scriptures. Today's reading is taken from two passages. First passage is taken from Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 and 2 and the second passage is from Luke chapter 13 verses 6 to 9. Please open your Bibles and turn to Ecclesiastes chapter 3 beginning with verse 1. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot. 
The second reading is taken from Luke chapter 13, starting with verse 6. Then he told this parable. A man had a fig tree growing in his vineyard, and he went to look for the fruit on it, but did not find any. So he said to the man who took care of the vineyard, For three years now I have been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree and haven't found any. Cut it down. Why should it use up the soil? Sir, the man replied, Leave it alone for one more year and I'll dig around it and fertilize it. If it bears fruits next year, fine. If not, then cut it down. This and the reading of God's word. Brothers and sisters in Christ, shall we turn to the Lord in prayer? Today's prayer is taken from Psalm 103, praising the Lord for His mercies. Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, as we come before you this day, we want to bless the Lord. We want to say, O oh my soul, all that is within us, bless the Lord's holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh, our soul, that we will not forget all His benefits, that you have forgiven us all our iniquities. You have healed all our diseases through the blood of Jesus. You have redeemed our life from destruction. You have crowned us with loving kindness and tender mercies. You have satisfied our mouth with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. Thank you, Lord, that you execute righteousness and justice for everyone who is oppressed. You have made known your ways to Moses and your acts to the children of Israel. Likewise, you will make known your ways to us this day. The Lord is merciful and gracious. Thank you, Lord, that you are slow to anger and abounding in mercy. You will not always strive with us, nor will you keep your anger forever. You have not dealt with us according to our sins, nor punished us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is your mercy, O Lord, towards us who fear you. As far as the east is from the west, so far have you removed our transgressions from us. As a father loves and pities and shows compassion to his children, so the Lord loves and shows compassion to those who fear him. For the Lord knows our frame. The Lord remembers that we are made of dust. As for us, our days are like grass. As a flower of the field, so we flourish. But the wind passes over it and we are gone. And our place remembers us no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting. On everyone, on every brother and sister in Christ who is tuning in even right now, who fear the Lord. Thank you, Lord, that your righteousness is shown even to our children's children. That when we keep your covenant and when we remember your commandments to do them, help us, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, that you have established your throne in heaven and your kingdom rule over all. So we will bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, you, his angels who excel in strength, who do his word heeding the voice of his word bless the lord all you his heavenly hosts you ministers of his who do his pleasure bless the lord all his works in all places of his dominion bless the lord O oh, our soul so spirit of truth lead us into all truth this morning spirit of wisdom spirit of revelation open the eyes of our understanding that we may know the hope of our calling that we may know how glorious is the richest of the inheritance that you have placed inside of us and that we may know the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. We pray and lift up this time into your hand. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Today, we have Reverend Bo to share God's word with us this morning. His message this morning, Growing in Torrential Times. Let us prepare and open our hearts and minds to receive God's word. 弟兄姐妹们平安
Peace be with you, brothers and sisters in Christ. The title of my sermon this morning is entitled Growing in Torrential Times. 在上一次的讲道当中, 我们已经清楚地明白, in the last message, we have already understood that every one of us needs to live in the gift of God. And what is the God, uh, what is the gift of God that is to grow in his grace and truth? 那神的心意是要借助他的真理给我们指出一个方向，在我们生活当中，我们当行之道，他也指示了我们一些生存的律法、规范跟生活的准则。now his will is to give us direction through his truth. It is to show us the way, the laws and the standard of living. When we decide to follow God's command, God the Father is most willing to walk alongside with us. 当我们行不出这个完全的真理的时候，上帝的慈神爱说，总是不离不弃，引导着我们，并且接纳我们。However, when we are not able to live out His truth, He will still bind us with cords of His unfailing love to lead and embrace us.那显然的，这个神的真理跟神的恩典。能够使我们跟他修复这个关系，同时使我们的灵命、灵性得到一致。So very evidently, truth and grace causes our relationship with God to be restored, and at the same time, we receive healing for our spiritual lives. 当我们什么时候不再逃避上帝，去面对上帝的时候，我们属灵的生命会持续不断的成长。when we no longer hide ourselves from God, we will see that our spiritual lives will continue to grow. 那弟兄姐妹们, 我们明白这个道理, 能够帮助我们在思维上的改变, 同时在我们的生活当中, 超练, 恢复, 上帝跟亚当夏娃, 在伊甸园, 天起了凉风, when we understand this truth, it will help us change the way we think, and we will be able to return to the beginning of creation whereby Adam and Eve enjoyed a perfect, harmonious relationship with God Himself in the cool of the day. Neil Anderson, he said, a quote about the body Neil Anderson, this uh, famous speaker once said, The greatest health and freedom of your spirit comes from having a true knowledge of God and a right relationship with Him. Brothers and sisters in Christ, our spiritual lives needs continual growth. 那希伯来书的作者跟彼得一而再再而三的强调，我们基督徒的属灵生命需要成长的. Both the authors of the book of Hebrews and First Peter keeps emphasizing on spiritual growth. 希伯来书在第六章第一节就说了，他说，所以我们应当离开基督道理的开端，竭力。Hebrews chapter 6 verse 1 tells us, Therefore, leaving the discussion of the elementary principles of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. Now, Peter, you see, young, the chicken comfort. 基督徒的生命要成长。他说：“所以你们既除去一切的恶度、毁杀，并假善、妒忌和一切诽谤的话，就要爱慕那纯净的灵奶，像财神的婴孩爱慕奶一样，叫你们因此见长，以致。” 
得救，看到吗？叫你们因此见长。You see that first in First Peter, the author also has a similar view. Therefore, laying aside all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and all evil speaking, as newborn babes, desire the pure milk of the word that you may grow thereby. Grow is the key word. 那这两个这两节的经文很清楚的表明了基督徒的生命，属灵的生命是要成长的。也是可以成长的。These two verses clearly tells us that as a Christian, our spiritual life must continue to grow. 那我们稍微来看彼得的所提到的彼得前书第二章提到这一个经文的时候，有两个关键词。When we look into these two passages, there are two key words that we need to see. 第一个是除去。First of all, is to get rid of, to lay aside. 那除去这个在希腊的原文的里面，它有剥光这个衣服，要把你身上的污垢、肮脏都洗得干干净净的意思。In the original Greek word, it actually means you strip yourself clear from all the clothes and be cleansed of your uncleanliness. 那我们在这里看到这个是一个很强烈的愿望。那这个愿望呢，就是盼望基督徒。我们要脱去一切不良的性情跟我们的言行，比方说什么呢？这个恶毒啦、毁杂啦，并假善、妒忌和一切毁谤人的话。So it has a strong connotation that believers need to put off their lustful desires and their bad habits. For example, it will include all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and all evil speaking. 那第二个愿望也是很强烈的一个愿望，就是。爱慕这个灵奶。There is a second key word here that is to desire the pure milk of the word. 那这个是一个强烈对比的愿望。Now this strikes a very sharp contrast. 那灵，这里的灵，原文是 logic cost， 它是表明什么呢？表明说属神的道。这个灵，其实原文是属神的道的意思。When we look about the pure milk, this word in the original Greek refers to the word of God that is pure. 那么，形容神的道，另外一个字来形容的，它是纯净。它的原文是 adolos， 它的意思是说非常的纯净的意思。这个神的道是纯全、纯净的。And another word that is to describe the milk is that the word pure, adolos, it means uncontaminated. 所以，爱慕灵奶呢，其实是在表明了一个基督徒刚刚信主我们的一个情况。属灵的婴孩，我们需要属灵的灵粮，就是上帝的道。So here it talks about when we desire the pure milk of the word, it means that we desire the word of God in our lives. 那如果我们把这个经文把它重组一下哈，它的翻译可以是这样的，就是。爱慕神那纯全的灵奶，也就是爱慕神的真理，爱慕神那活泼永存的道。Now, if we were to rephrase this verse, if we can also put it in this way: that we are to desire the pure milk of God's word, to love and desire the truth, and to love the word and desire the word that is eternal and living. 那上在上一次牧师的讲道的当中，我们说道成的肉身就在我们的当中带来什么呢？是带来了真理。另外一方面，它带来了神的恩典。这个真理就是神那个纯净的道。The word has taken flesh and lived among us. That Jesus Christ brought about grace and truth, and the truth is the pure word of God. 那显然的，圣经的作者哈，这圣经的作者。他们的看法是一致的。信徒的灵命的成长，我们必须要明白神的心意，接受神所赐的真理来养育我们，叫我们属灵的生命在成长的过程的当中有神的爱。所以，我们是在神的爱中，在神的恩典的当中，我们成长。
So very evidently, the Bible tells us that as believers, our spiritual lives must grow to understand the heart of God. And through His truth, God will feed our spirit and cause us to grow spiritually, to grow in His grace and His love. 亲爱的弟兄姐妹们，基督徒的生命，如果我们的生命是连于基督，我们在基督的爱中建立关系，并且接受神给我们真理的教导。你可以从诗篇，我们可以从诗篇第一篇第一到第三节，你看到是一个很美丽的一幅的图画。A Christian life must be connected with Christ to grow in His love and to establish a relationship with God to receive the teaching of His truth, and this is closely related to Psalm one. 那你看。如果我们按照神在耶稣基督的里面所带来的完全的真理生活，它是怎样的呢？我念给大家听。他说：“就不从恶人的计谋，不占罪人的道路，不做亵慢人的座位，唯喜爱耶和华的律法，昼夜思想，这人变为有福。” Let's look into Psalm one, verse one and two. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. 你看，当我们的生命连于基督，在基督的爱，在神的爱当中成长是怎样呢？第三节他就说了，他要像一棵树。栽在溪水旁，按时后结果子，一叶子也不枯干。凡他所做的，尽都顺利。When we live in accordance to the truth that is found in Christ Jesus alone, we receive the promise that is in Psalm verse、uh, chapter one verse three that we will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf Also, shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. 显然的，在这三节的经文的里面，你看到一个遵循神道的人，在神的爱的当中生活的人，我们的生命，属灵生命不但成长，而且还会结果子。哈利路亚。A person who knows how to be connected to Christ Jesus, their lives will definitely be able to bear fruit. In due season. So, let me just say once again, Christ, the spiritual life of a Christian will grow. So, a spiritual life of a Christian will grow. So, a spiritual life of a Christian will grow. So, a spiritual life of a Christian will grow. So, a spiritual life of a Christian will grow. So, a spiritual life On one hand, we need the truth of God, and on the other hand, we need to grow in His love and grace. 那这也是圣经的作者啊，不同的作者，他们一致的看法。基督徒的生命是可以成长的，而且也一定会成长。And different authors of the Bible, they also have the same view that a Christian life, their spiritual growth, is necessary, and they must continue to grow. 那我们再来思想另外一个一方面的，其实成长是需要时间的。On the other hand, we need to pause and reflect that growth needs time. 那传道书三章第一、第二节他是讲的，大家很熟悉的。他说：“凡事都有定期，天下万物都有定时，生有时，死有时，栽种有时，霸住所栽种的。”也有时。In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter three, verse one and two, to everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck what is planted. 一个刚刚出生的婴孩，他是需要时间来成长的。一粒麦子或者一粒种子落在土地上，要成长、长大、成熟的时候。它是需要时间的。A newborn baby takes time to grow. A seed that falls to the ground takes time to grow into a tree. 罗马城也不是一天就能够把它建筑好的，这是一般的常理。弟兄姐妹们，我们属灵的生命要成长也是如此，我们需要时间的。
Rome was not built in one day. This is general knowledge or the way of life. And it is the same with our spiritual lives. God has designed for our spiritual lives to take time to grow. And time is given by God. It is a representation or a manifestation of His grace. It is also the space by which we must grow. 那在圣经的里面有一个非常感动人的故事。他说：“从前有一个人啊，他有一棵无花果树，他种在哪里呢？种在他的葡萄园的里面。”Now there's this touching story taken from the Bible. It talks about a man actually plants a fig tree that is in a vineyard. 那有一天啊，这个人他来了，他来到这棵树的面前，盼望能够找。这个无花果树的这一个果子，但是呢，他找来找去，他找不到。and uh, this man came to this vineyard, he came to this fig tree, and yet this tree did not grow, bear any fruit. And so he tells the gardener and say that, look here, I've come for three years and this tree has not bear any fruit. Why don't we just chop it off? Because it's wasteful for it to uh, take root in this ground. I'm sure some of us are actually plant trees or have a, our own garden. You'll be able to understand that when this owner came by to see that this tree does not bear fruit, it is quite sensible or logical for him to cut this tree off. But the gardener probably understand this principle that this tree, the land needs more plowing and fertilizer for it to grow. So then and uh, that is why this gardener replied and said that, uh, please give me some time, give me one year's time. If in one year after I have actually plowed the land and I fertilize it and it's still not bearing any fruit, then we cut off this tree and cut it down. It's not too late for it to be done. Now, in this story, 既然是一个过程，这棵树它要成长，是需要时间来培育的。So when we talk about growth, it is a process, and we need time for nurturing. 创造主他知道，我们每一个人的属灵的生命，我们属灵的生命成长需要时间。Our Creator God knows that spiritual growth takes time. 那同样的，今天。Similarly, when we face problems in our spiritual lives or when we need healing, sometimes it also takes time. Now, we can see that 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 we can that we can that we can see that we can see that we can see that 它是一夜之间就发生的，那很少有这样的现象的。
Now, when we want to talk about spiritual growth or emotional growth, usually it does not happen overnight. 那它可能这种的成长可能是发生在我们的生活的当中，在你不知不觉的当中，在潜移默化的当中，我们的思想改变了，我们已经逐渐成熟了，而且是急不来的。Such growth takes time for it to grow in a process. 那我们从小都受教育的时候也听过这个故事嘛，拔苗助长。当我们拔苗助长的时候，不但一事无补，可能还会破坏了他原来的成长的机会。There is a Chinese saying that says that if you pull out the shoot before it's grow, its roots, it's useless, even if you are trying to help the plant grow. 如果我们能够清楚知道，其实我们的成长，或者我们在某方面要得到一致啊，或者我们的灵性需要更新。它需要时间，这已经是一个不争的事实了。So this is a, a way of life whereby growth takes time. 所以这也就解释了为什么我们每次祷告又祷告，好像祷告神要听祷告，他需要这个时间的。时间是给我们恩典，听清楚，时间是神给我们恩典的机会。It is just like our prayer life. Prayer takes time, and time is where God gives us grace. 那古时候有一句古老的谚语啊，说的很有意思啊。什么意思？他说，两点之间，两个句点之间，最漫长的距离是什么呢？就是你走捷径，你走 shortcut。There is a saying that is very interesting, where the longest distance between two dots or two points is taking the shortcut. So we know one truth: many times, many things change. Many times, we need to listen to God. Many times, we need to have peace. It takes time. Many a time, we want to be healed. Many a time, we want our prayers to be answered. But it takes time. That when we look back. 我们的始祖亚当夏娃在伊甸园的那一段故事的里面，我们看到他们犯了罪，招致死亡。时间，听清楚，这次牧师要提的是时间。时间是神给我们恩典，跟我们悔改的机会。Now, when we look back in the days or beginning of creation during the time of Adam and Eve, we look that. Oh, we we see that even before the fall of humanity, time was given for redemption. 那圣经讲哈，那个牧师常常强调的哈，你们都懂啊。牧师常强调这句话：天起了凉风，耶和华神在园中行走。Ah, I've always mentioned this before that in the cool of the day, the Lord was walking in the garden. 那这句话暗示了我们。在最起初的时候，神跟始祖亚当的关系是那么样的和谐，是那么样的密切。It talks about the intimate and harmonious relationship that God had with Adam and Eve. 神提供了我们的始祖亚当夏娃，他生活一切所需。神还设定了一些的界限，告诉他什么你必须要遵守，什么你必须不能够做。And God has provided everything that we need, and that includes setting up boundaries: what we can do and what we cannot do. 天起了凉风，在那个这么样适当、那么优美的时刻的里面，神前往伊甸园找亚当夏娃，他们要有一个非常美好、团契。And yet, in the cool of the day, God chose this time to have a communion or relation or personal fellowship with Adam and Eve. 我真的是很喜欢这一句话。天起了凉风，在这样优美适当的啊，这个这个气温的当中，神要去找他的朋友，耶和华神在园中行走。And I love this phrase. In the cool of the day, it is as though God is looking for His friend, and He came down to have fellowship. 那只是这一次，始祖听见神的声音，他们就躲避神，因为他们感到害怕。But there was this one time that Adam and Eve, when he heard the voice of God, they were fearful. 那以前他们听到神的声音是不会害怕的，你知道吗？但是这次不同了，他会感到害怕。Now in the past, when they heard the voice of God, they were not fearful at all. 
。那为什么呢？我们都知道了，因为他们这一次是发现到他们赤身露体。Of course, we know the answer. They found themselves naked all of a sudden. They also realized that when they were not following God's word, when they were not following God's word, they also found themselves naked. They know that they did not obey God's word and they have offended God. So we believe that at that time, they also experienced a naked feeling and a feeling of naked body. And they began to have guilt, and they were shameful because of their nakedness. That man can do what? They just hide in the thick branches and try to hide themselves. Why? They want to hide themselves and hide from the face of Yahweh's face. So what happened next? They just hide themselves and hide from the face of Yahweh's face. So what happened next? They just hide themselves and hide from the face of Yahweh's face. 跟以前天气凉风是完全不一样的，这时候的人已经完全彻底的改变了。Brothers and sisters in Christ, now the atmosphere of the cool of the day has changed because the the human kind actually hid from God. 犯罪叫人对这一个啊这个裸体产生了意识。那我再说一次，人犯了罪，后来才发现到自身的裸体，它产生了意识。他从此就失去了那种无罪、没有罪的纯真，始祖不再像小孩那样天真无邪。The moment Adam and Eve sinned, they realized their nakedness, and they have their conscience were pricked, and they lost the purity of being sinless. 你看，当始祖他们犯罪的时候，也有羞耻感，也有意识的时候，其实这是最入侵的时候。我们整个的关系。人跟神的关系，人跟人的关系，人跟物的关系，全部都被摧毁。这是我们过去一而再、再而三强调的信息。The, mo the moment they fall into sin, the message that we keep emphasizing time and again is that the relationship between God, the relationship that they had with one another, the relationship that they had with creation itself, were all destroyed. Amen. 你看人的方面怎样呢？害怕、恐慌、躲避，藏了起来，内疚感、羞耻，失去了无罪的童真。这已经是一个人从犯罪、从没有罪、无罪到犯罪之后，产生了这么巨大的转变。You see the drastic change from a sinless state to a sinful nature, whereby we fall into fearfulness, into panic. We turn to flight. We hide ourselves. We become guilt-ridden. We are shameful. We lost the purity of being sinless. 那天起了凉风，耶和华神在严重行走，本来是很好的 fellowship， 很好的关系。现在什么呢？人开始躲避耶和华的面，为什么呢？说明了人因为犯罪跟神之间的关系决裂了。In the cool of the day, it was actually a time for communion with God and with Adam and Eve, and yet this relationship was destroyed. That mankind began to hide themselves from God. You also see that at this time, the relationship between Adam and Eve was destroyed. Because Adam said that Eve ate it. Even sin destroyed the relationship that Adam had with Eve. Even sin destroyed the relationship that Adam had with Eve. Because they were blame shifting one another. So, this sin also destroyed the relationship between man and man. So that we see, sin destroys our relationship with one another. More important, this death brought us to our soul. Death also brought us to our body. More importantly, this death brought us to our soul. Death also brought us to our body. More importantly, this death brought us to our soul. Death also brought us to our body. More importantly, this death brought us to our soul. Death also brought us to our body. More importantly, this death brought us to our soul. Death also brought us to our body. More importantly, this death brought us to our soul. 就即刻死了。圣经讲得很清楚，就是跟神隔绝了关系。The first death that we face is that our spirit dies immediately. We are alienated or we are separated from God. 那另外一方面呢？我们有关我们肉体的，我们也面对死亡了。听清楚，身体的死亡开始了。And the second time of the、uh, second type of death that we face is the death of our physical bodies. 整个死亡的过程。开始发生了 ，so the process of death has already begun。然后我们看到神没有即刻
把我们的肉体听清楚，把我们的肉体完全处死。But God did not immediately kill off our physical bodies. 后来我们发现到，我们的肉体没有完全处死，因为神好让我们在这个世上，人就保持着数百年，当时是数百年啊，或者以我们现在数十年，我们有悔改的机会，这是时间。And、uh, we see that God has given us time, and in the past it was hundreds of years, and now we have decades of years. 那么，看到吗？神在给我们这段时间的里面，为我们预备救赎的恩典。And in this period of time, God has provided the grace of salvation. 那这也就是神学家，神学家他们提到的一个观念，叫做救赎的时间，英文叫 redemptive time， 救赎。或者得赎的时间 ，and that is what the theologians came up with this term redemptive time, a time for repentance. 那这段时间是神给我们悔改，给我们归回，并且跟他重新建立关系的机会。This time is actually for us to repent, to turn back, and to rebuild a relationship with God. 我们知道圣经讲我们的始祖。他们看到自己赤身露体，感到羞耻，感到内疚的时候，就拿叶子来遮羞。We know that、uh, God has、uh, covered Adam and Eve when they fell into sin with ram skin。那但是我们的神就给他们做了皮衣，是用皮衣来这表明有动物要被牺牲，这暗示了神在耶稣基督的里面为我们预备救赎的恩典。羔羊的牺牲就是上帝的羔羊，为我们的罪死在十字架上。So when God made Adam and Eve a covering with the skin of a ram, it foreshadows the way that He's going to redeem us. That the death of something or someone has to be done for us to be redeemed and saved. 所以约翰福音使徒约翰讲得很清楚，他在约翰福音说，他说吃这，约翰看见耶稣。到他那里就说：“看那、啊、神的羔羊，除去世人的罪孽。” And that is why in John chapter one verse twenty nine, it tells us that when John the Baptist saw Jesus coming before him, he said that behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. 我们感谢天父上帝的恩典，他在耶稣基督里面救赎的恩典的当中，我们很清楚看到。保留了这一段救赎的时间，并且是在耶稣基督的里面为我们预备的。So we thank God that God has provided a time frame whereby we get to repent and turn back to Him。所以我们就回到我们上一次讲的这个道，这个道成了肉身，就在我们当中带来什么？带来了恩典与恩典，恩典与真理，给我们看到的。他带来了救赎的恩典，也告诉了我们得救的真理。So let us recap what we have learned even from the last sermon: that God, Jesus, He took on flesh and He was incarnated into human form, and He lived among us. He brought about the grace of God's salvation, and He also brought about the truth of salvation. 真理跟恩典缺一不可。So grace and truth must go hand in hand. 然而，今天牧师要加强一点时间。时间是神用来拯救并且医治我们的方法。我们需要，我们需要什么？我们需要神给我们的时间，让神的恩典跟神的真理产生了效力。But today, there's one more element that I would like to add on. That is the element of time. That when God redeems us, when God wants to heal us His way, He cause、uh, He gives us time so that the grace of God and the truth of God can take effect or materialize its effect. 弟兄姐妹们，让牧师再强调一下，道成肉身，就在我们人类的当中，带来了恩典，带来了真理。恩典跟真理必须是平衡的， when, 所以当带来这个之外，今天牧师要加强一点，还需要神的时间悔改，给我们悔改的机会跟时间
Now, let me repeat. When Jesus became flesh, He lived among us, He brought about grace and truth. And yet, God has given us time, a redemptive time whereby we get to repent and turn away from our sins so that the grace and the truth of God can take effect and materialize in our lives. 你现在还被罪恶所压制 Brothers and sisters in Christ, I don't know when you hear this uh, sermon and you are still being oppressed by sin. 牧师已经跟你讲了, I have already shared with you how the Word became flesh and He is the fullness of God's grace and truth. And we are to embrace this truth. We know that He is a holy God and He has given us the law. And because God is love, out of His love, we are to walk out from our weakness and our sinful life and come before God to ask for His help to help us. We are to face him and not to hide ourselves from him because God is both the strict father and the loving mother. And on the other hand, he is also the strict mother and the loving father. And uh, don't be uh, driven by your guilt because spiritual growth is going to take time. 听清楚, 我们灵性的成长, 我们属灵的生命从罪业离开, Spiritual growth and emotional healing will take time. It is a step-by-step process. When we pray, God hear our prayers so much so that God will use time. Sometimes it is to use time to change us so that we may receive our healing and restoration. Therefore, grace and truth and time, these three elements must go hand in hand. So I, uh, my sharing ends here. 恩典、真理、时间这三个要素啊，在神救赎的计划中，在神要医治你的当中，在你的祷告，需要神完全来回应的当中，它都是重要的。So grace, truth, and time, these three elements I need to repeat are essentials. They go hand in hand for us to receive spiritual growth and to receive emotional healing. Today is Holy Communion Sunday. So we really thank for uh, thank Jesus for uh, breaking uh, his body and shedding his blood for us. And he has brought about grace and truth. 主耶稣说, and the Lord Jesus said that this is my body broken for you. 他又说, 这杯是我立新业的血, 你们每逢喝的时候, 要如此行, 
为的是纪念我。And he also said that this cup is the new covenant which my blood has established. That whenever you drink of it, you are to remember me. Give 我们这样大的恩典。So we thank the Lord Jesus for giving us such great grace. 愿上帝祝福大家。May the Lord bless each one of us. 如果你想更多的了解这个真理，那你可以联络我们教会的传道人啊，跟他们记一记，跟他们谈一谈。上帝祝福你们。Yeah, if you have any further questions, you can contact our pastors and、uh, have a chat with them. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, shall we all rise for the responsive hymn, "Blessed Assurance"? Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. His spirit, I'm washing His blood. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior. For those worshiping at home, you can pass the envelope around to collect the offerings among yourselves 
and thereafter you can deposit the collections into the church bank account as displayed on the screen. Or alternatively, you can make your offerings through ePay, Wire Touch and Go Wallet, or Maybank QR Pay. Please email your transaction slip to details of your name, uh, if any, to the email as displayed, or WhatsApp transaction slips to Brother Junming at the number as shown on the screen. A warm welcome to all of you this morning, and particularly to those who are joining us at Worshipping Rivers for the first time this morning. Please do drop us an email and we would like to keep in touch with you. You can reach us at the email address as displayed on the screen. And we look forward to you joining us next week. Please also note that there will be no physical worship in church until further notice. In the meantime, join us at our online service at 8.15am next Sunday. We'll be starting new cell groups for the English service starting from 7 October 2021. All who are interested, please sign up with Pastor Authority via the English service email at eservice.kcmc at gmail.com or call the church office at phone number 0362767812. Baptism. Those who wish to be baptized this Christmas, kindly contact Pastor Authority by 31st October 2021. Baptism classes will commence in November via Zoom. These are the announcements for today. We will be conducting the Holy Communion shortly, so please get your elements ready for the Holy Communion. Dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare our heart to partake the Holy Communion. Would you all please stand? Those who have believed and accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and intend to lead a new life Following the commandments of God, draw near with faith and take this holy sacrament. Make our humbly confession. O oh, Heavenly Father, have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins and bring us to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Hear us, O merciful Father, grant that we receiving the bread and wine in remembrance of his death and passion may also be partakers of the divine nature through him who in the same night that he was betrayed. Jesus took the bread and said, This is my body, which is given for you. Take and eat this in remembrance of me. Jesus took the cup, gave thanks, and said, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. Drink this in remembrance of me. Let us all pray together. O oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, we, thy humble servants, Desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son Jesus Christ and through faith in his blood, we may obtain forgiveness of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto Thee. We humbly beseech Thee that all we who are partakers of this Holy Communion may be filled with Thy grace and heavenly benediction. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Would you all please remain standing? I'd like to invite Pastor Tolerty to lead us in prayer. Let us pray. 
Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, we thank you for your love. We thank you for the word of God that has been spoken into our lives this day. And most of all, we thank you for the flesh of Jesus Christ and the blood of the Lamb that was broken and shed for us, for the remission of our sins, for the healing of our physical bodies, for our spiritual lives, even for our mind and our heart, our emotions. So Lord, this day, as we eat of the flesh of Jesus and drink of His blood, we receive favor with God and with the people around us. We receive healing and restoration especially in our mindset, Lord, especially in the ways, Lord, that we have taught wrong, the thoughts that are not aligned with the Word of God. We pray the Spirit of truth will lead us into all truth. Holy Spirit, align our lives that we may be doers of your Word each and every day of our lives. This day, we thank you, Lord, that we can receive divine protection even from the spirit of death, from the coronavirus, from every plague and destruction because of the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that we receive supernatural provision, Lord, of a financial blessings, Lord, as we come before you, as we are partakers of the Holy Communion this day. So, Lord, strengthen us physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, even right now we look to you and fix our eyes on Christ Jesus all this we give thanks in Jesus name we pray amen amen the benediction the peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. This concludes our service today. Do continue to fellowship with one another and take some time to reflect on the message you have just heard. See you next week and God bless you and have a great week ahead.